Navia and Giles are shooed away from the ride and banned from the spinner for a short time. <laughs> Good morning, everyone. Welcome. Happy Monday. How are you all doing today? So today, my friends, we're playing The Sims 4, Not So Berry, slash Money Pit Challenge. We're going to jump into the game, but while I do, please let me know what all you got up to over the weekend. Did you have a good weekend? I really hope so. We had just finished moving... Navia in. So we took some of her furniture, not all of it, but, but some of it. We started cleaning upstairs. Actually, we finished cleaning upstairs. We had a mishap with the sim ray uh, because we were turning trash into usable items. And uh, one, of the I uh, one of the piles of trash turned into a giant debug building that, um, that I had to get rid of. <laughs> It's Sunday morning, so today we're going to go to the amusement park, as it says in the title. We're going to go there once our Sims wake up, after they fix all of the things that are broken, which is, is everything. So, hire repair service. Dude, what do you mean that everything looks fixed up? You didn't fix the PC. Okay, she actually can't fix the re Why can't she fix it? Alright, fine, we'll just have to replace it. I I didn't want to do that, but, but it looks like we're going to have to anyway. So all of their needs are okay. We're going to go to the pier and go on some of the rides. Because I think it would be fun. We're just traveling. We're not taking a vacation. We're, we're just traveling with Navia. Copperdale, that's the one. We're going to go to the pier at Copperdale. Uh, in order to do that, though, we actually need to go to um, a specific house, which is so stupid, but we need to go to a specific place. We'll go to Totter Park for now uh, to get there. And then we, we'll walk from there. Over here on the pier, we've got Tunnel of Love. There's a haunted house. And if you go over here, there is a Ferris wheel. Which, by the way, they're woohoo spots. Every last one of them is a woohoo spot. So we're just going to have a romantic ride with Navia. We'll go through all of them, and we're just going to have a good time. We're going we're gonna to say that this is like their, their honeymoon. Uh, they can't really afford to go on a big honeymoon. They can at least afford to, to go on a small honeymoon at least. All right, here we go. They've gone into the the Tunnel of Love for a romantic ride. Giles wanted to make the perfect romantic atmosphere and thought the cuddle carts would be the... Okay, it's not the, the Tunnel of Love. They're called the cuddle carts. Okay, so the cuddle carts would be the best way. Uh, what he wasn't expecting was just how cheesy the ride would be, which isn't exactly the vibe he was going for. He looks at Navia and tries to gauge her reaction. He can't tell if she's into the corny atmosphere or not. Does Giles poke fun at the ride and add some flirty banter to try and make the moment a little more romantic? Or does he embrace the cheese and attempt to show Navia a slice of playfulness? <laughs> we will lean into the atmosphere and see what happens. It's cheesy, sure, but it's adorable, and Giles can see that Navia is enjoying the ride. That's enough to encourage... Giles to go all in. The rest of the ride puts Giles the rest of the ride Giles puts on the performance of a lifetime in perfect sync with the ride's over the top exhibits. Navia wipes tears from her eyes from laughter and loves that Giles is playing along with the classic ride. This playful side of Giles couldn't be more attractive to Navia. The sound of giggles from that cuddle cart put the rest of the ride's lovey-dovey displays to shame. Gained romance between riders. Sweet. <laughs> After the Tunnel of Love is we'll go into the Haunted House, or the Spook Shack, is what I think it's called. I think after that, they're probably going to want something to eat. We'll have them come over here um, and get grab, grab some food. I'll have him get a, a veggie slider, and I will have her get a corn dog. Let's go on the Ferris wheel and we'll uh, we'll woohoo with Navia on the Ferris wheel. 
Max wants us to go to the flea market. Sorry, Max, I'm on a date with my wife. We are not going to the flea market while we're on our our honeymoon with our wife. And by honeymoon, I mean this is about the closest they're going to get. It's a, it's I would like this as a honeymoon. It's only a day trip, but still. Oh, oh, here we go. Stars exploding from the Ferris wheel. <laughs> Navia and Giles have decided to take a chance and go for a spin on the Plumbite Pier staple. They say that any couple that is brave enough to woohoo at the top of the Silver Spinner will be successful and join the Spinner Sky Club, an unofficial club for the adventurous couples of Copperdale who have achieved the same feat. As if perfect timing, the pair's carriage stops right at the peak of the wheel, and the time is now. But wait! The fear of being caught is creeping into the back of Navia's mind. Does she give up this moment and take the fun elsewhere? Or do they keep wheeling and join the Spinner's cl Sky Club ranks? Continue. Of course. Things get heated quickly and the carriage windows fog up, giving the two riders... The confidence to keep going and enjoy themselves. Navia wipes some of the fog away to try and reveal some of the scenery, but instead makes eye contact with a disgruntled wide-eyed attendant. <laughs> Navia and Giles are shooed away from the ride and banned from the spinner for a short time. <laughs> so we got caught. <laughs> and, and got kicked off the ride. We got caught, but, but he's like, we got caught, but it was all worth it. <laughs> Ooh, we can get ice cream. Let's get ice cream. We'll get a cookie dough cone. I want him to get a, a mint chocolate. We gotta. It's the mint generation. We gotta get the mint chocolate chip. <laughs> let's, let's take a flirty photo after their ice cream. And then... And then let's try for a baby in, in, the, in the photo booth. Because what a story that would be, huh? Mom, Dad, how was I born? See, kid, uh, your, your mom and I went to, the, went to the pier and decided to take a photo and decided that, that we were going to, to be naughty in the photo booth. And um, before we, and, and nine months later, you were born. <laughs> Oh my gosh, they're they're woohooing before taking the photos. Because because of course they are. <laughs> What's with the hand? <laughs> yeah, they're they're getting water. I don't blame them after that. A photo let's take flirty photo again. Because I don't think they actually took a photo. Take photo with. There we go. Uh, take romantic photo with Navia. Right then, they have literally done everything that they can do here except for ice skate. So let's go ahead. We will go for a quick ice skate together. And then we'll go ahead and go home. I think this was a good honeymoon. You know, they, they woohoo twice. Giles might be pregnant. And yes, I say Giles might be pregnant because I've switched the the gender roles around. Uh, Giles can get pregnant and Navia can can get people pregnant. If he is pregnant, we're going to have to, to step up fixing up the house. We'll have to get the upstairs completely fixed up. <laughs> I was, you know, but, but if they are expecting, um, but we'll, we'll see how it goes. It's 4.30 p.m., I think that they have just enough time uh, to clean up a little bit, uh, as in like like maybe clean up upstairs just a little bit, because um, we've got we've got this bit here that needs you know getting rid of. But now we've got the entirety of the house, the interior of the house is completely clean, uh, which I'm extremely happy about because that means that this week they can start decorating. I'm gonna have Giles take a pregnancy test just real quick. Giles, are we expecting? Do we have to get a move on to, to decorate the upstairs? Oh my god! Giles is pregnant. 
Okay. I mean, they did try for a baby. Is he going to share? Yep, he's sharing the big news autonomously. Let's see how she takes it. Whoa, that's one way of telling them. So is she happy about it? That's, that's the question. All right, so she, she looks like she's happy about it. Big news, boosting flirty, happy plus two. Fantastic. So yeah, she is very happy that, that they're expecting a baby. Okay. Hooray! We're, we're gonna have the next generation. Um, we need to get, get on things then. Uh, so tomorrow, they're going to hire someone to create the nursery. That's, that's the only thing that we can do is, is hire a decorator to come in and, um, we need to hire an electrician to come in and wire the upstairs for electricity, a plumber to come in and take care of the, uh, of the plumbing for a bathroom up here. And finally, we'll need a decorator to come in and decorate the nursery. So realistically, that's going to be three days. We've got plenty of money so they can do that. Before they go to work, though, I'm going to have him hire the repair service to fix the TV. And then I'm going to take him quickly, before he goes to work, to the cemetery to put this gravestone down. The cemetery is, is in this world. It's in Newcrest. Okay, so let's go ahead. Let's travel. Just on our own. We don't want to take anyone with us. Here is the cemetery. It is a haunted cemetery. It has um, gremlins, cursed, creepy crawlies, and more. And once we get here, we will take the gravestone out of his inventory and put it down somewhere. I actually haven't seen this lot uh, except for photos, so I'm not 100% certain what it looks like. We're going to find out together. Here's the gravestone. We'll, we'll plop that out, and very quickly, I will take this one, and move this, and put it right there. So let's take a look at this place real quick, because I am curious as to what it has. So there's, there's a tree, there's a pond, there's some gravestones over here. Um, there's another cemetery plot over here with a bunch of gravestones and and other things statues then we've got what looks like a little chapel cobwebs and oh yeah this oh this this chapel looks looks a bit sus we've got a cursed mark here with what looks like blood stains uh surrounding it it's got Four lot challenges. Creepy Crawlies, Cursed, Gremlins, and Spooky. Okay, so now he can go back home. Don't want him to hang around there too much. He's just He just went there literally to get rid of his, his repairman's grave. <laughs> Aha! We completed the first level of the uh, Mischief Aspiration, which is good. So now we need to do 10 pranks and achieve level 6 Mischief skill. So as we do this, we will naturally master the, the mischief skill. So I don't really have to worry too much about that. It's the scientist career that, that I really have to start worrying about uh, because we have to max that uh, and get uh, to level 10 of the scientist career. It is time to go to work. Let's join. Okay, so what do we need to do today at work? We need to ask a coworker for a crystal. We need to upgrade the sim ray with mind control, change outfit, and we need to mix snake oil serum. Okay, so let's go ahead. Let's immediately go over here to Jeb. We will ask him for a crystal. And then I will also ask him for a metal. All right, so we need to upgrade the sim ray with uh, mind control. And now we will upgrade it to the Mind Control Change Outfit. Then we'll mix the serums. We need to do a Tainted Serum and a Snake Oil Serum. Unfortunately, the machine broke. So we're going to have to to repair it real quick. And then... Although I think we... Did we finish it? Because it's, it's not there anymore. So we might have actually finished it before it broke. 
We'll find out in a minute. Come on, hurry up. Continue upgrading. There we go. We were almost done when the machine broke down. Fantastic. Grab that. Put it in there. All right, so now we need to go to a chemistry station, which is right here. Yes. All right, so mix a tainted serum and a snake oil serum. So snake oil, we need a daisy. We've got a couple of plant packets. So if I open these, one of them might contain an actual daisy. Okay, so we've opened up all of those. Do we have any daisies? Are those th daisies? Fantastic. So we'll go here. We'll synthesize snake oil. What do you all have planned for the rest of today? Anything fun? Anything exciting? It looks like something happened during synthesis. This serum looks a little tainted. Giles should test it on someone else. So we actually made the snake oil serum and it was na it naturally became tainted. That is hilarious. Drink or give away the snake oil serum. Per doctor's orders, pregnant sims cannot drink serums. So we're going to have to give this one away. Hey, Olive. Um... Do you, do you want to drink this, this, this serum? The snake oil is supposed to cure your sins of any and all sicknesses. Uh, because it's snake oil. Yeah. <laughs> practice analysis. So practicing analysis is the chemical analyzer, which is right here. So we'll do that. And then we need to chat with Mark, whoever Mark is. We will just, just chat. All right, so we've done that. Um, we can, we can stop doing that now. Uh, we'll do a friendly introduction. Mind control, change outfit. Let's have him change into his party wear. Okay, so we need to have, get three, uh, three co-workers to change their outfits. So we've done that with him. He's resisting. There we go, and that, that is his party wear. Nice. The evil laughter there, look at that. Gotta love that evil maniacal laughter. Mind control, change outfit. Let's have him change his outfit to his sleep wear. And then with this guy, I also want to do the mind control change outfit to swimwear. So we've done party, sleepwear, and swimwear. That's what that guy sleeps in. Okay. Not, not what I would choose. Those shorts look very uncomfortable. I never get bored of this game. I could play this game 24 hours a day, seven days a week, and never get bored. All right, we did that. All right, Giles did a fantastic job today. It won't be long before academic prestige and scientific achievements arrive. Uh, he earned 887 simoleons and earned one vacation day. He did not get promoted, which is a shame. I was really hoping that he would get promoted. I'm thinking that this wall should be our family portrait wall, so I'm going to put that photo booth photo there. I am going to go into build mode in a minute to enlarge it because that is, whoops, that is a tiny, tiny photo. It's super cute, but it's a tiny photo. It is the end of, of Monday, and we did say that on Monday, I was going to have a builder come in while they were at work. And um, we were going to, to fix a few things. So we're going to get rid of these stairs here. I'm thinking maybe in here, a nice little sofa in the entrance or, or an entry table there uh, would look really, really nice. If we go upstairs, what I do want is to take this room here and extend it out to there one 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 in actually there we go just to make the master bedroom a bit larger i think what i'll also do is move that in words like so actually get rid of this wall is there anything here that's that's green 
Yes, there is. Fantastic. We will do the fabled fence then in, in this nice green color. There. Right there. Thank you. We do need new stairs because those were not very nice stairs. I will go with just the modern floating stairway. There we go. Now we've got the stairs the way they were. So now we can we can do these stairs like so, the railings. Okay, we did it. Oh my god, that took so long. <laughs> that that was seriously so difficult. I hate stairs. That is definitely 100% done. And now I am going to take 2,000 simoleons off of these sims. So 5,418 is what they're going to have. And tomorrow we will ring up the electrician. And the electrician is going to come tomorrow and um, wire the upstairs with electricity. So that's, that's going to be a tomorrow job. It is time to say goodbye for now. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you next time. Take care of yourselves. Bye, everyone. Have a wonderful day. Go get some lunch. Bye.